Iowa basketball superstar Caitlin Clark has announced that she is declaring for the WNBA draft. We really can't be surprised by this decision since Clark has taken the basketball world by storm ever since she got to Iowa. And even though she's been dominating the game at every stage she's played at so far, there are still haters out there questioning how great Caitlin Clark truly is. So in this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into how good Caitlin Clark actually is. Hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get going. Caitlin Clark was born January 22, 2002 and grew up in West Des Moines, Iowa. She's the daughter of Brent Clark and Ann Nizzy Clark and has two brothers, Blake and Colin. Her father played baseball and basketball at Simpson College, while Blake is a reserve quarterback and the holder for the Iowa State football team. Throughout her youth, because of limited opportunities for girl basketball players, Caitlin ended up playing on all boys teams starting from the age of five all the way throughout elementary school. Clark tried a lot of different activities, including volleyball, soccer, softball, tennis, and piano, but fully committed to basketball around sixth grade. It was at that time that she joined the All Iowa Attack Travel Program, a powerhouse development program that produced at least six NCAA Division I recruits in the high school class of 2023. It was the perfect place for Caitlin to put in work and excel at the sport. And from there, she developed her game so quickly that she actually played against high school seniors while she was still in the eighth grade. By her sophomore year at Dowling Catholic High School, Clark became one of the top basketball prospects in the country and was named the Gatorade Iowa Player of the Year in both her junior and senior seasons. But her success during her youth didn't stop there. Clark became a two-time Max Preps and USA Today All-America selection, averaging 32.6 points per game as a junior. Her defining moment came late that season at Mason City, where she made a state record 13 three-pointers on just 17 attempts and then scored 60 points, which is only one point shy of the state record. In this game, Clark hit six threes and scored 25 points in the first quarter alone. When the game ended, the Mason City student section was lining up to get her autograph. At this point, Clark was a consensus five-star prospect and receiving attention from almost every major program in the United States. ESPN ranked Clark as the number four recruit in the class of 2020, and she committed to Iowa on November 12, 2019 over Notre Dame and Iowa State. As a freshman at Iowa in the 2020-21 season, Clark came out of the gate looking to be a difference maker, starting 30 games and leading the country in points scored, total assists, three-pointers, and total field goals. She was named Big Ten Freshman of the Year and First Team All-Conference in addition to Second Team All-America by the Associated Press. You really couldn't ask for a better start, but unfortunately her freshman season at Iowa came to an end in the Sweet 16, facing off against Paige Beckers, who went number one over Caitlin in that same 2020 recruiting class. Clark's fifth-seeded Hawkeyes took an L against the number one Yukon Huskies, 92-72. to That one had to sting. Although that was a bitter end to her first year, Clark shook it off and came back in her sophomore season with something to prove. In the 21-22 season, Clark became the first NCAA women's player to lead Division I in points and assists per game with 27 and 8. Continuing on her superstar trajectory, she recorded back-to-back -back triple doubles, scoring 30 or more points while pulling down 10-plus rebounds and 10-plus assists in consecutive showings. If this isn't a sign of true greatness, I don't know what is. Recording back-to-back -back triple doubles is a rare feat for sure. In fact, since the year 2000, only nine basketball players across the NBA, WNBA, and D1 college basketball have achieved that feat. And you might be familiar with some of the names on this list. How about Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, James Harden, Luka Doncic, Demonis Sabonis, Nikola Jokic, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. It's pretty good company for a 20-year-old sophomore to join, don't you think? Caitlin Clark went on to become a finalist for the Naismith Women's Player of the Year given annually to the top player in the country. But even with her record-breaking performances, she eventually lost to South Carolina's Aaliyah Boston. And that's not the last time these two competed for the Naismith Award, but we'll get to that a little later in this video. 
Hey, before we continue with Caitlin Clark's story, if you're enjoying our content here at Sports Standouts, leave us a comment down below, give our video a like, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support really does mean a lot to us, and we want to continue to bring you the best possible content. Now, let's get back to the video. Coming into the 2021-22 season, the Hawkeyes were among the favorites as a number two seed, but if you're familiar with March Madness, you know that upsets happen quite often, and unfortunately, that's what happened here. Caitlin Clark and the Hawkeyes shockingly lost to 10th seed Creighton in the second round, and adding insult to injury, Clark just had a miserable game, making only four of her 19 shots, and she scored just 15 points in a nail-biting 64-62 loss. That was actually Caitlin's lowest point total since she had started playing for Iowa, and it still remains her worst performance of her collegiate career. So, going out with her worst performance yet definitely left a bad taste in her mouth, but if you haven't noticed this already, Caitlin time and time again keeps finding a way to exceed our expectations, and coming into the 2023 NCAA tournament, we saw her more dialed in than we've ever seen her before. She averaged a double-double with 26 points and almost 11 rebounds per game over the Hawkeyes' first three NCAA tournament wins in that tournament, but saved her record-setting performance for the Elite Eight game against Louisville. In that one, Clark had 41 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists, a stat line even her own coach couldn't comprehend, calling her performance, quote, mind-boggling. Iowa took the win 97-83, and Clark's 41 points were the most of any NCAA tournament triple-double and second most of any triple-double in women's Division I history. This record-setting performance also made Clark the first Division I men's or women's college basketball player to pile up 900 points and 300 assists in a single season. Not to mention, Caitlin also went viral for directing John Cena's famous You Can't See Me gesture toward Louisville player Haley Van Lith during the game, which even earned her a shout-out from John Cena himself. After the game, Caitlin had this to say, When I came here, I said I wanted to take this program to the Final Four, and all you've got to do is dream, and all you've got to do is believe and work your butt off to get there. That's what I did, and that's what our girls did, and that's what our coaches did, and we're going to Dallas, baby. The second-seeded Hawkeyes beat number one South Carolina in the Final Four to reach the national championship game, but they ultimately fell 102-85 to LSU and its star player Angel Reese. Angel Reese definitely got the better of Clark, taunting her throughout the game a few different times, but post-game, Clark stayed humble and only had good things to say about LSU. You know, hold your head high, be proud of what you did, and, you know, all the credit in the world to LSU. You know, they were tremendous. They, they deserve it. Um. Although it was a tough way to end the season, Clark still managed to lead all scorers with 30 points, and she went on to be named the recipient of the 2023 Naismith Trophy, beating out Aaliyah Boston this time, who edged her out back in 2021. Now, in what is her last season before heading to the WNBA, Caitlin has continued to make her mark on the game. Aside from being the favorite to sweep national individual honors again in 2024, she's also passed Kelsey Plum as the NCAA women's all-time scoring leader, surpassing the 3,527-point threshold with a career-high 49-point performance in a February 16th win over Michigan. In this last season alone, Clark is averaging a career-high 32.2 points and 8.7 assists alongside 7.4 rebounds and 1.7 steals per game, while shooting 46.9% from the field and 39.5% on 13.6 three-point attempts per game. She's also broken the NCAA single-season record for most three-pointers with 157 of them. And then, of course, Clark became the all-time NCAA scoring leader on March 3, 2024, passing Pistol Pete Maravich, who had owned the NCAA scoring record for men and women's basketball with 3,667 points in his three seasons at LSU. Average ticket prices for Caitlin's record-breaking game against Ohio State sold at an all-time high of $546, which is the most expensive on record for a women's basketball game college or pro. 
The Hawkeyes project to be a top four seed in what will be Clark's final NCAA tournament, and winning it all would be the cherry on top of what has been a historic collegiate career. Capping off her last season, Caitlin has this to say, None of this would have been possible without my family and friends who've been by my side through it all. Because of you, my dreams came true.